Okay, so um, this is the first time watching the NBA in my life, 40 years, where the young teams went to the playoffs and rise. Miami's young, Boston's young, Denver's young. Hell, Dallas played great. A Phoenix didn't make the playoffs. They were great. And the old teams, Milwaukee was awful, and Houston was awful, and the Clippers have older stars were awful. Only LeBron and the Lakers as an old team are playing well, and that's probably the power of LeBron and his greatness and leadership. Now, do I think for the next 40 years that old teams will get to the playoffs, the veterans, and they'll shrink, and the young teams will just flourish? No, 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 no. Do I think the bubble is part of kind of um, has helped younger players? Yeah, there's no crowds. Young players shrink in the playoffs with the toxicity of crowds. And the old players are married. They got kids. It's getting in their head. That's some of it. But let's, let's not worry about that. Why did the Clippers lose? Okay, it, it, Kawhi's overrated. Well, I saw him be the second youngest guy to ever win a f- MVP in the finals. He beat LeBron, Wade, and Bosh. I don't, I don't think he's overrated. I think he's great. Well, Clippers, no good. They were overrated. Well, they were 12-1 and one pre-bubble when they were healthy, and they gave LeBron and AD and LeBron some problems. Let's make the complicated simple. All of our lives are shaped by our choices. We can blame our parents. We can blame the president. We can blame our neighbor. We can blame our brother-in-law. Guys can blame their wives. Our, Our lives are overwhelmingly shaped by our choices. Kawhi had three choices after winning in Toronto. And I want you to just think about these. Number one, stay in Toronto. Great general manager, great head coach, very good roster, two emerging stars, Van Vliet, Pascal Siakam. Uh, There would be no pressure. They won a title. There's no pressure. Uh, It's in the East, which is easier than the West. Um, Again, the structure, the fans, the GM, the coach, the veterans, emerging stars, no pressure. You already won a title. He could have chosen that. He did not. His second choice was... Let's go to the Lakers, massive brand, join LeBron. Anthony Davis was already there. They've got, there's no, there's no brand pressure. They've got, they got banners all over the place. It's the biggest game in town. LeBron would be the star. AD would be the two. And you could be, as you usually are, quiet, covert, nonverbal, win titles and not, and do your load management. Nobody would care. He did not choose that. Our life is based on choices. He chose the Clippers that have a history of losing, basically rent the arena seemingly from the team that owns it, it feels like, even though the Lakers don't, Um, go to a coach who has struggled in the postseason many times, Doc Rivers, and with a teammate, Paul George, who has a history of shrinking, and a franchise, the Clippers, who have a history of shrinking. That was the choice. And it should be noted San Antonio, Kawhi wasn't responsible for building chemistry because they had it before he got there. Manu, Tony, Tim. Toronto, he wasn't responsible for building chemistry. They'd been number one seed the previous year. They had good chemistry. But in Los Angeles with the Clippers, Kawhi was to a large degree, because they had to give up some pieces to get Paul and Kawhi, he was responsible for building this chemistry. He's not a real talker. He's not real communicative. He's not real verbal. And isn't, in the end of it all, a chemistry issue? I watched last night. Bad shots. The the Clippers didn't have a lot of good open looks. When they did, they didn't hit them. Denver was fast and fluid. And, oh, they just got great open looks, layups and dunks and open looks. It's like a young team that had been playing together for a while and they were confident and the Clippers looked kind of static and they were tight and they weren't loose and they weren't getting open shots. And when they did, they weren't hitting them. Maybe it's just as simple as this. Kawhi had three choices and he chose the wrong one. A franchise in the Clippers that historically shrinks. A teammate in Paul George that historically shrinks. And I am a Doc Rivers fan. He's the Joe Torrey of the NBA. He's great with veteran players. Wasn't a good series for him. It was not a good series. He had bad second halves and bad fourth quarters. It was not a great series for Doc. And it happens. It happens. Maybe it's just that simple. 
I don't think Kawhi is overrated. I don't think the Clippers lack talent. I do not believe young teams will now, from this point going forward, dominate the playoffs, and the veteran All-Stars will all shrink. Is there a bubble component to some of this story of young teams flourishing? Sure. This is about choices. By the way, Kyrie left LeBron. Bro, how'd it work out? Paul George stayed in OKC, could have chosen LeBron. How'd that work out? Ty Lue could have coached the Lakers, wanted more money, chose the Clippers. How'd that work out? Sometimes it's as simple as this. Stay with LeBron or choose LeBron. It'll all work out. He'll take all the pressure. He'll take the big shots. He'll take the media criticism. LeBron will just take it all, put it on his shoulders. Bro, come on and join us. Just, it's funny to think now, right? When I say this this morning, it's so it sounds so easy. LeBron and AD were already there. <laughs> we saw what Kevin Durant did. Just go join those guys. And he chose the Clippers. And he chose Paul George. And that's what it looks like. <clears throat> um, I kind of think it was championship bust. And if it wasn't, because Lou Williams said later he thought it was, and Doc Rivers thought it was, and Kawhi thought he was, and Steve Ballmer thought it was, and the front office who I text off and thought it was, eh, maybe this is part of the communication issues. Paul George may not be around. Like, if you thought this was a, we got a lot of runway on the tarmac, remember this. This is a Laker town. It is a Dodger town. It is a USC football town. It's becoming an L.A. Ram town. This is a fight. Steve Ballmer just bought a bunch of land for a zillion dollars to build his own arena because he's trying to separate and create his own brand. So it's one thing to lose. It's another to potentially watch the Lakers win a title. That hurts. I mean, it'd be, if the Lakers were already out and the Clippers lose and you're like, well, okay, Denver Nuggets, the bubble, they win a championship. No, that's not what's going to happen. It's very possible now. The biggest roadblock for the Lakers is gone. The Lakers win the championship. Uh, that's not going to play well in the building. Paul George may not be long if he's a, we got a lot of runway here. He didn't look at it as a one year. A lot of people in that building, they were already online looking at championship rings. Let me segue to this. Speaking of LeBron James, Nick Wright in 15 minutes will be obnoxious. If you want to turn, go ahead. He'll. I'm sure it'll be, you know, whatever. You know, if you want to deal, watch kind of that kind of nonsense, whatever. Nick Wright will be joining us in 15 minutes, and it's going to be bad for me. Um, the C is now opening up for LeBron. It's now LeBron James with all sorts of finals and championship experience will be taking on Denver. Just took the binky out of their mouth. Uh, Miami and Boston. By the way, the old Lakers just got six days rest. <laughs> oh, by the way, the Clippers, a roster built to beat LeBron, four wing defenders, gone. LeBron's career is actually, when you're honest about it, has been a series of obstacles he's had to overcome. Let's talk about him. He gets drafted by Cleveland. They're awful. Everything's bad. Cleveland stinks. You, you like to get drafted by great organizations. You know, the Celtics or, you know, you know, Packers. No. Number two, he walks right into a blizzard called the Big Three in Boston. Not great. Then he ends up facing the Warriors dynasty. That's another obstacle. Oh, by the way, star teammates getting hurt. Bosch was often hobbled. D. Wade in Miami. Kyrie and Kevin Love get hurt. He has to go to a finals with Matthew Della Vadova. And then he's had to deal with flakes. J.R. Smith forgot how to keep score of a game. And Kyrie Irving just bailed because he's Kyrie Irving and the world is flat, according to him. But now it's different. 17 years. And the C is opening. Now it's young teams. The Clippers are out of the way. They got a break. Denver's a bunch of babies. Now, now Denver's going to understand what the, the big difference between, you know, the second round and the Western Conference Finals. There's a lot of difference. That's the difference between the Sun Bowl and the Rose Bowl. There's a big difference. Second round, who was in it last year? Who knows? Who remembers? We remember Conference Finals. We remember Finals.
And through all those roadblocks with LeBron, the flakes, guys don't know the score, the injuries, Kyrie, Kevin Love, the big three, the bad ownership, all those roadblocks, nine finals, three titles. And for the first time ever, well-rested LeBron, who, by the way, got hurt last year, didn't play a ton, COVID this year. Think about this. COVID was actually a break for LeBron's legs. Giannis, the Eastern Rim protector. LeBron can struggle with that. Out. Kawhi and the Clippers built to stop LeBron. Out. Anthony Davis, who has a history of being injured, is finally healthy. D. Wade and Bosh, who never got hurt before LeBron, were all banged up. Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, they got hurt. Now it's like Anthony Davis is Mr. Brittle. He's not hurt. The sea is opening up for LeBron. Opponents, health, none of it in his way. This is going to be painful. You know, I'm, 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 I had the Clippers, but I, you know it's good if LeBron wins for me, right? Like, you know I'm, I'm on that side. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.